Hey YouTube, it's been a while, uh, but I've had a chance to play with the new X100V from Fujifilm. Um, I played with it for close to three months now. This is a prototype, uh, but I thought I'd share some of my experiences with this new camera with you. Now a quick disclaimer, I am a Fujifilm X ambassador and I was commissioned to shoot sample pictures and to shoot a video about how I use this camera for Fujifilm. Um, but my opinions are my own, my YouTube channel is my own. When Fujifilm approached me for this project, uh, it was titled My Milestone. Um, and I thought long and hard about what I was going to do uh, within that project because we get this great creative freedom but i found that i had to stick with how i use the x100 series cameras uh, these cameras i've always used them to uh, document life to explore and to create freely and so i wanted to approach my project um, for fujifilm uh, from that angle so the full video is on the Fujifilm X YouTube page. I will probably also upload it to my channel here and I will put some sample pictures uh, on my website. I will link everything in the description below um, so you can go and see if that is something that you're interested in. But for now I'm going to play a couple of segments of uh, the film I did for Fujifilm and I'm going to explain a bit more in between these segments about how my uh, experiences were with this camera, what have I noticed and um, what I think. Each day is filled with countless moments. Most of these are instantly forgotten, but a few will be remembered forever. You just don't know which moments will turn out to be milestones over time. The reason I took up photography in the first place is to preserve those precious moments and to document the life of my family and friends. But I don't want to live my life through the lens. I want to document life while living it, fully. The flip screen makes it easier to shoot from different angles and the improved weather ceiling lets you use the camera in pretty much any condition. To me the biggest improvement is the completely redesigned lens. It's sharper and focuses faster. If we compare the X100F, the older version, with the V, you can see that there's actually very little difference. Uh, the shape, the weight, the form, uh, the dials, they look pretty identical. The only thing that you might notice is that there's a little slant on the uh, left top corner uh, of the X100F. It was on all the previous versions too and it seems to be gone. With the X100V um, I think I slightly prefer the slant but I'm not gonna lose any sleep over the camera not having that little slanted corner. Cosmetically, the biggest difference is probably that the X100V now finally has a tilt screen. Tilts up and tilts down. Um, and it's something that I've wanted from the X100 series forever, basically. I think it's very useful. And they also implemented it very nicely. So it's completely uh, flat with the body of the camera. Um, so you cannot really see, you cannot really tell if there's a, a tilt screen in it apart maybe from the little notch up here, uh, which is used to pull it out. So for those who don't like tilt screens, it's gone. And if you like it just like me, it's easy to get it out. One of the biggest uh, improvements compared to the X100F is that the lens is now completely redesigned. And in my opinion, that was necessary. The old lens was rather soft, wide open, and it was soft with, when you took close-up images. Uh, the lens is now a lot sharper. And on top of that, it's a lot faster in focusing, um, which makes a big difference in my opinion. And it, it was a long overdue upgrade 
uh, to get this lens sorted out completely. It's still a 23 millimeter f2. Uh, it still has the same filter thread. It's the same size, uh, but they did some magic inside of this lens and made it a lot better. Uh, so I'm really happy with that upgrade. You can see that I've fitted a lens hood on the X100 and I think it's um, it's a pity that it doesn't come with a lens hood uh, because otherwise the lens is pretty much unprotected if you look at this one. Um, I generally don't like to use lens caps with a camera that I uh, take with me all the time and if you are documenting live you want your camera to be ready at all times and if you have to take up that lens off that lens cap and then just start shooting i prefer a lens hood uh, which protects the lens a bit more um, and also it's good um, if you have like a backlit situations uh, to avoid a little bit of flare uh, the one i'm using here is one made by square hood swedish company uh, it's a metal lens hood it's a bit on the pricey side but i think um, it really complements the look of the camera but also the function of the camera so um, it's been on since I got it, basically. Another reason why I always have a camera with me is that it is a passport into other worlds. A way to meet new people and create connections. The camera is not just a way to document life, it's also a device that can enrich it. Despite being so compact, there are no compromises on image quality. And Fujifilm continues to give us more control over the excellent JPEG files. The X100 series used to be a bit of a real photographer's camera. You had to be a bit devoted to photography and to this camera to get the most out of it. But I think with the X100V, the camera is easier to shoot than ever before with the speed it has, the automatic functions it has. But that doesn't mean that you don't uh, have the control to get into real photography mood. And it's often into the in, in the small things that make uh, a camera easier to go from snapshot machine to real photographer's camera. So one of the things I really like here is that the uh, ISO dial, you can now lift it up and it stays up, which makes it much easier to change your ISO on the spot. Before you had to lift it up, hold it, and then turn it uh, the way you wanted it, but you could only do like a quarter of a turn or a third of a turn, and then you had to lift it up again, regrip it, things like that. So it's a, it's a small thing, but I think that is one of those things that makes it just easier to take over the camera f out of automatic mode. So uh, you, you, get, you still get everything at your fingertips to change from an automatic mode into a manual or semi-manual mode. The other focus has also been given a big upgrade. It has to do with the lens, but also with the sensor and the processor. Uh, but for the first time, you can really um, count on focus tracking, uh, phase detection. The F could do that too, but the results were not very consistent to say the least. Uh, but now I feel that the X100 uh, V is really on par uh, when it comes to speed. Um, it's, it's on par with the interchangeable lens cameras of the same generation. Previously, I always found that the X100 lacked a bit or stayed behind a bit compared to uh, other cameras of the same generation. Uh, but now I think it's right up there with the X-Pro3 and the X-T3. I think nobody really took video seriously with the X100 series. But with the X100 V, you basically have the same features as the X-Pro3. Uh, and uh, with the newer, faster lens, um, I figured it could be a pretty decent video machine. So when the opportunity arose, a friend of mine uh, who I work out with and he's a personal trainer, um, he, uh, he wanted to do a little video about how um, the forest is his gym basically. And so we, we basically went for a workout and I just took this camera, no tripods, no gimbals and tried to make a little video of this. Um, so let me show that, let me roll that short video right now.
I think that worked out pretty well. There was no pre-production involved. There was no planning involved. We just uh, went by the seat of our pants uh, with just uh, a little camera with me. Um, being that this is a prototype camera with um, beta firmware on it, I didn't have access to all the video functions, but uh, I've been told that with the final release, you basically have all the functions that you need uh, on this small camera. So I really enjoyed shooting a video with that and the 23 millimeter lens is actually a good all round video lens too. It was all very simple, no additional color grading. I shot this in color in classic neg um, and um, I edited the video on my iPad. So it was very simple, very quick affair, uh, but still uh, my friend Bert was pretty happy with the video. Um, on the video side, maybe a couple of downsides um, is that the microphone jack, it has a microphone jack, but it's a two and a half inch jack. I'd rather see 3.5 um, because now if you want to use a microphone on this thing you'll have to uh, plug in like a, an adapter from 2.5 to 3.5 um, another thing uh, is that the lens is pretty noisy when it uh, does constant focusing something that you you could um, probably uh, expect and the internal microphones uh, pick it up pretty easily of course um, but apart from that I think that it is actually a pretty capable video camera and I'm at least going to take it seriously uh, to take some b-roll short form uh, video content things I'm really looking forward to try out the video capabilities of this camera a bit more I do enjoy bringing a client's brief to life, but nothing beats the freedom of creating for yourself. With a compact but powerful camera, you can create anytime, anywhere. With a small but very capable camera, I can create anytime, anywhere. I can create something when I'm sitting in my car in a traffic jam, or I can go out with a friend and just take a little camera and a flash with me, and we can do a whole photo shoot and figure things out ourselves. Um, and to me, it's important to always have this tool with me to express myself and to create. So in conclusion, I shot with this new camera for almost three months, pretty much shot exclusively with it, apart from some work things I had to do. Um, it still is the camera that may not belong in my camera bag, but rather over my shoulder, around my neck, in my jacket pocket. Uh, the camera that I use for everyday life, that I use for in-between pictures. Uh, I still think to me it is the perfect choice for that kind of applications. The X100F is still a great camera um, and upgrading, yes or no, really depends on your needs and your budget. To me, it's a definitely, it's definitely a yes based on the fact that it has a tilt screen, uh, the weather sealing and the new lens. Those three things alone will make it for me a better tool um, to take with me every day. In the end, the camera is just a tool, but this tool has inspired me to look again to more real, uh, simple photography. And um, in 2020, I am going to explore that a bit more. Um, and I hope to share my findings and experiences with you in some new uh, YouTube videos. Um, thanks for watching this pretty long review um, like I said there will be some samples on my website it's linked in the description um, again thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon